Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Avernum 6. So last time we finally dealt with this encounter, only to be a little bit disappointed almost immediately by learning that there is nowhere to go from here. And this was really just its own little thing. So no getting to these, uh, to some, you know, maybe later parts of the game a bit early by overcoming a challenge. Not in this case. Also, um... It looks like, and my very foggy memory of, of doing so also confirms, I guess, or rather the other way around, that I did deal with these um, with these archers up here. As you can see, they dropped some equipment, which I cannot loot from down here, but that's okay. We'll get there eventually, and maybe this stuff is still going to be there. I guess it's going to be interesting to find out, although I think it should be. I guess I looted these before, huh? Yeah, probably. Okay, anyway. Did we do anything? We found these. No, we found these, actually, the Airy Greaves. And we switched these around. Yeah, okay. Cool. Now that's out of the way. That leaves us with a bunch of optional things to do, including one quest that used to be a main quest. But... I guess now no longer is. I, I mean, I suppose technically they still want me to do it. You know, go over to the remote tunnels. The western reaches, rather. Well, yeah. Western excavation specifically. And, uh, you know, look into that. I'm also technically much more urgently supposed to talk to the royal spymaster or whoever, whatever his official title is. But, um, you know... I'm sure it can wait just a little bit longer. We didn't uh, find a crystal, no. Okay. Right, so we have that to do. It's kind of the big one, although I also expect it not to be very difficult because, you know, these main quests have been... Well, we have out-leveled these main quests, and I'm assuming that they're all basically on the same level difficulty-wise because, you know, there was no suggested order given. Um, so presumably that one's not going to be very hard to do, especially since we already fought our way there. In fact, that probably would have been the most difficult part to it, because getting there wasn't wasn't completely free. There were some pretty nasty encounters along the way, of course. Um, anyway, we also have the ogre encampment to deal with. We have this undead settlement. We technically have this undead spiral, although in past games this has been a, a pretty tough a pretty tough dungeon. And it might or might not be something we can do right now. Uh, of course, we have not been to the, the entire Mertis region or most of the Honeycomb as well. So exploring that and yeah, basically finishing up exploring everything up to Silvar is another thing we can do. But I believe those are... I don't think there are any other quests that we can do that we haven't tried before. I mean, there are still some... Are there still some, some things... I mean, there's definitely the icy shade, for example, underneath Patrick's tower. That's a thing. There might be some other, you know, difficult encounters. Well, of course, there's the one in the, uh, you know, the demon on the second floor of the tower colony. But that one, um, there seems to be some sort of gimmick to it, or you know, I guess we'll see how exactly X is going to ultimately help us deal with it e more easily. But uh, we'll we'll have to wait quite a bit for that. Uh, do we do we try to do some of those potentially smaller things? No, I think I actually want to go to the ex western excavation to get that out of the way to finally do something there. Wait, what are we doing? So let's do it. Pretty sure we have a teleporter there, saving us a lot of walking. Uh, yes, yes we do. Curiously, there is one gap in the uh, list of locations so far. That's interesting. Okay, hello. Are you the one? Yes, Sergeant Bellows. I've been sent from the castle to evaluate the status of the excavation. Ah, well, we knew this was coming, I suppose. Wouldn't turn you away. Not with you being from the castle and all. I would hope not. Bellows shouts a command, and a minute later, the gates begin to slowly open. Welcome to the excavation. 
what is the status of the excavation? I mean, that's really all we, we're supposed to find out, right? Well, I suppose that and um, figure out why this is taking so long and what we can do to make it not take as long. What's the status? Well, yes, well, you should talk to the commander. He has more, um, more the bat's eye view of everything, you know? I just watch the supplies. He waves his clipboard at you. Can I get supplies and healing? Well, anyone from the castle can help themselves to everything they see, oh, as we always do. Uh, as for healing, talk to Isla. Isla? Isla. I don't know. She can restore your strength. Actually, I'm assuming that's going to happen just as we walked through the gate, but okay. There is something else I need to know. I, uh, sorry, uh, just the sergeant. S sergeant? Sergeant. The quartermaster. Just the sergeant? The quartermaster? I don't know anything. Just go in. The commander will help you. I'm not responsible for anything. Hmm, weird. I mean, I guess he's not wrong, but still that... That's almost sound a bit suspicious, doesn't it? Like, I mean, it, are things like, going really wrong around here? And he's obviously aware of it? It just... You know, doesn't want to be held responsible? Okay, this place has an interesting structure. I guess we'll just start checking these doors. Okay. Nothing here. We're free to help ourselves to everything and anything we find, right? Including your limited supplies. Steel javelins. Oh, we were... Oh, I, I guess we had run out of those. No, why don't we use up some more of those? Oh. Ah, eh, that's fine. That's okay. Uh, ten potions, ten potions, three and three. I mean, you barely ever need to use them. But also ten potions should be plenty, so... What? Why don't you have another one? Oh? Encantor Timmons. Hello. There is a powerful mage in this office engaged in, in a deadly duel with a large pillar of stone. Deadly duel, huh? Is the pillar actually fighting back? He's directing a stream of fire at the rock, trying different angles and intensities to break it down. You watch the spectacular display for a while. Uh, eventually, he takes a break and looks at you. He isn't pleased to have so to have to spend precious magic, uh, precious magic using time talking to a mere soldier. Excuse me, uh, excuse me. Where we're, what now? Actually, what have we been? Have we been um, promoted to? Uh, doesn't matter. <clears throat> Still mere soldiers, I suppose. Uh, you, you are new. Uh, not a mere guard, either. I suppose the long-dreaded inspectors from the castle have finally arrived. I'm Encounter Timmins. Ask what you need to. What were you doing to that rock? Several wizards of Avernum have been pulled from their important and significant duties to come to this remote hole and blast rocks into smaller rocks. If we must suffer this indignity, we might as well perform the task efficiently. The sooner we succeed, the sooner we can be freed from this purgatory. Oh, okay. I mean, it does seem like a pretty important job to me, if there's any chance of it succeeding, but... Oh well. You didn't want to come here? Nobody wants to come here. What would you be doing if you weren't here? I would choose to work in the Tower Colony, attempting to find some way to alleviate the Blight. Yeah, well, they have... They have other problems right now, but they certainly could use a powerful mage such as yourself to just blast that Hawkeye back into its home dimension. That would be helpful. Uh, I'll suggest that next time I'm there. Um, or perhaps help in the battle against the Slith Horde. But the castle asked the Tower Colony for mages to come here. Kanner, the master of the tower, volunteered me. Oh, I wonder why. He wanted you out of the way. Hmm. Really can't can't imagine. Uh, can you teach me any spells? <laughs> what? You think I haven't suffered enough indignities? Go to the Tower Colony. They can teach you. I am I am to concentrate on my duties here, no matter how foolish and tedious. How's the excavation going? The mage looks annoyed at the question. Well, that's what you came to find out, isn't it? Yes, and that's why I'm asking you. As if it wasn't a mad errand in the beginning. Uh, digging randomly through tons of rock, looking for an imaginary tunnel to the surface... Wait, I mean, we know the tunnel once existed. Sure, it might not now exist. It might be completely... Completely caved in, I guess. But, well... And then the commander decides to enlist ogres to help with the process. Mindless, grumbling brutes. It is no wonder that the process... Uh, that the process ground to a halt. And it is not my fault. Of course not. You don't believe that the tunnel exists? Well, it might have once. 
We did find signs that steep, upward sloping tunnels were here, but then they were collapsed. Now it's just a jumble of countless tons of rock. And that assumes that the tunnels went to the surface in the first place, which I doubt. Okay. Uh, tell me about the ogres. Ooh, I think we killed... Uh, did we? Uh-oh, I f seem to faintly remember killing some ogres here, but... Um... Oh, oh no. Commander Rana gets to explain the sing that singular bit of genius herself. Mindless creatures getting in the way of the blasts of fire, always becoming injured due to their clumsiness, and then threatening us. Us! <sighs> I'm here now instead of... of I'm here now instead of the dig because I'm threatened to incinerate the next ogre that bothered me. So, okay. I guess the place that I... where I slaughtered all the ogres was just where they lived where they commuted from, but they're actually working here in the actual excavation. That's... I mean, that would make sense. <clears throat> An ogre attacked you? Not yet, but the creatures are clumsy, dumb, and have short tempers. It's only a matter of time before one of them blames us for its own idiocy at attacks. The ogres get injured? So they claim. Clumsy, forgetful creature. Their thick hides keep them from feeling any sort of real pain, but the fire from our spells startles them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, I'll take your dagger, even though it's hardly worth anything. I'll also take all of this stuff, because I can. I mean, energy elixir is honestly pretty pretty powerful, so it's not even that bad. Save. Ooh. Okay, a blessing that's not going to last for long enough to get anywhere useful, but sure, why not? Another dagger that I don't need. Wonderful. And let me guess. Um, a shield? No, another blessing. Okay. Oh, no. That's just a way out. I see. So, yeah, there were just some storage rooms. There's a huge chasm in the middle, I guess, and this is ultimately going to. This is a whole complex going to loop. Back around and there's just gonna be a convenient convenient exit right there, maybe. Guess they're not quite done excavating whatever they were building here, or who knows. A lot of nothing in this place. Well there's a way down at least, okay. Which is marked as well as a stairway down. Thank you. Very helpful. Okay, there we are. And there's also a door which has some lovely crystal. I'll take that. Some healing herbs. 40 of those. Holy crap. Um, and some more meal. 36 bags. I mean, we know what to deliver those, right? Just, Just waiting for... Waiting to see if maybe there's a another place because what was it we we aren't we aren't actually getting getting paid for that because we're just donating those donating that meal to the refugees in Almaria or something yeah there's got to be some other something more useful to do with that right okay ah there's the commander wow. Kind of out of the way. I also skipped past, well, just what whatever is here, and then the downstairs. Well, uh, we, I guess we probably want to talk to the commander first. Another mysterious liquid to drink from. It's <laughs> another blessing. Okay. Just workers and the commander. The commander of this outpost is a tall, thin archer. Her bow is made of fine yew, imported from the surface. It is never far from her hand. Instead, uh, instead, what? No. Seems like wise behavior out here in the wilderness. She looks up at you with the grim expression of one awaiting execution. Uh, word of your arrival precedes you. You are from the castle, yes? I am Commander Rana. Welcome. I will tell you what has been happening in the excavation. Though I will tell you the end of the story now. We have not been provided with enough resources for our work, so I have provided as best I have improvised as best I could. The ogres, for example, the ogres, for example, and without help from you, the work might not be able to resume. Of course. Well, tell me about the excavation first. Well, it is a simple story, and 
uh, one you've probably already been told, but I'm sure I can fill in some details. This is the western excavation. We are working here to find a rumored route to the surface. If we had a tunnel to the surface, many of Avernum's current problems would be solved immediately. As you can see, we are based in an abandoned Vanatai fortress. Its presence here was a stroke of good fortune for us. What, uh, oh, what, what makes people think there was a tunnel to the surface here? Oh, this tale dates from the earliest days of Avernum. Supposedly, the Empire knew about the route and concealed it, but a band of adventurers found it. Then it was the last. Uh, then it was at least partially sealed. That is the tale. All of this happened, if it did happen, uh, if it did happen, decades before we were born. Do you think the route exists? There are so many tunnels in Avernum, twisting and turning in every direction, that it is only logical that one of them would return to the surface. Is there such a tunnel here? She shrugs. I came here because I was ordered to. Hmm. Okay. So is there anyone here who's actually working working on this with any sort of enthusiasm? <laughs> huh. uh, why was it why was it fortunate to find the Vanita Ford? Because we were given a nearly impossible task and nowhere near enough people to complete it. To at least be spared the need to construct our own quarters was a blessing. Of course, when we got here, a tribe of ogres was already inhabiting the lower tunnels, so I was forced to improvise. Right. Uh, can I get some supplies? Feel free to take anything you find. Well, I've been doing that, and I will continue to do that. Thank you. We would not want to anger the castle's envoys. If you require healing, visit healer Isla, if I can find her. Uh, tell me, no, uh, tell me about the ogres, yes. Well, when we arrived here and began to set up camp, there was a tribe of ogres in the lower tunnels. A little detail nobody had mentioned when I received my orders. I had barely enough troops to secure the site, let alone drive them out. Happily, I was able to parley with their chief, Chief Gunza. He's, surprisingly, uh, he's a surprisingly cunning creature for an ogre, and he had no desire to anger at Vernum. Okay. Is he one of the ones I killed? Hmm. Presumably not. Uh, how many ogres are there? About twenty total. A decent force. With our soldiers and mages, we could have driven them out, though we would have suffered losses we could not afford. Fortunately, another option presented itself. So you and Chief Gunza came to an agreement? We did. We needed labor. We were receiving a stream of supplies from the Great Cave. The ogres wanted food and, well, anything else we could give them. So you struck a deal with ogres. Yes, yes, I know. They are treacherous, vicious, stupid creatures. All true. But I had a mission, and I was the o it was the only hope of completing it. And it worked, at first. The wizards used their spells to loosen the rock, ogres hauled it off. But then there were arguments. The ogres would get struck by spells, or they would go down the wrong tunnel and be crushed under rock. So now we need the, o we need the ogres, but we can't use them. And that is why we need help. Uh, how exactly? Okay, we, the only other thing to ask is report the status of the excavation. Which you'd think would be identical to tell me about the excavation, but apparently not. Uh -huh. Aha, quest received, inspect, main dig. The status is poor, slow, difficult. But I think it would be best if you saw for yourself. I will order the way open to the main dig. Go look at it. It will tell you everything you need to know. How do I get there? Go down the stairs outside our barracks and head north. Stay out of the ogre caves. Things between us and them are touchy right now. What should I do when I'm there? Just wait. Something will go wrong quickly, I'm sure. Oh, okay. Interesting. You're watching me? Huh? Okay. Ah, Hilary Isla, of course. Welcome, welcome. There's a small apothecary set up in this cavern. Workers at the excavation can come here to have their wounds treated. The shelves are worryingly bare of supplies. The healer is exhausted and her clothes are dirty. No patients here. No patients are here right now, but this is clearly only a temporary lull. She has been very busy. When you enter, she inspects you. Ah, I see you had a difficult journey. Uh, actually, we just teleported here, but originally it was kind of kind of tough. Yeah. I am Healer Isla. If you ever need a place to rest or have your wounds tended to, please come come and see me. I need to rest here for a while. Of course, of course. Please lie down and I will tend to you. You rest for a few hours and Isla sees to your wounds. When you get up again, you feel restored. Nice. Okay. So I guess there just isn't a, an automatic healing spot at these gates for some reason, and instead you just have to come here, which, I mean, is fair enough. Uh, tell me about the excavation. I know little about the day-to-day -day details of the digging. I only know that it is difficult and dangerous work. 
My task is to keep the workers here intact and able to keep at it. We are far from civilization, and we never have enough workers, so that makes my job doubly difficult. What sort of injuries do you see? Cuts and broken bones, mostly, from mishaps with tools or falling rocks. Nothing a few quick spells can't resolve. There are also nasty burns. Sadly, the mages are not as careful when directing their magic as they should be. Hmm. And where are you from originally? I was a healer in Formello, before it fell to the Slith Horde. After I lost my home, I traveled to the castle and volunteered to help in the fight. I did not expect to be sent somewhere like here, but then, if the work here succeeds, it will be a great boon for Avernum, so I wouldn't complain. Okay, so you at least sound vaguely hopeful that, you know, this might not all be a huge waste of time and effort. Hmm. <laughs> How has the excavation been going? Okay, I guess, I guess <laughs> option number two is just our normal uh, conversation. And option number three is asking in our official capacity as uh, castle inspectors. Sure, why not? Uh, How has the excavation been going? I've not been to the dig much recently, but it seems like the work is hardly continuing at all. We were relying on ogres uh, to do much of the heavy digging, but the creatures are dissatisfied. Ogres? Why ogres? Ah, you would have to speak with the commander. Those sorts of discussions, decisions do not fall to me, right? Uh, why are the ogres angry? I mean, they're ogres. Do you need to know any more? I don't know. I don't pretend to understand ogres. I do know that they tend to suffer more burns and breaks than uh, than I would expect. I wish the mages would be more careful. Yeah, maybe it's not just the ogres' fault. But uh, I'm, it's a weird thing to say or think, but. Well, uh, do you ever treat the ogres? Sometimes. Usually, when they are hurt, they retreat to their lair to recuperate. Their lair, yes. Right. They have that. The safe space where they live. <clears throat> uh, the seriously wounded are brought here. She points to one bed, which is considerably larger than the others. Don't worry. Whenever I treat an ogre, there are never fewer than three guards here. Okay. Well, I think that's all for now. Yeah. You know what? I'm not going to take your stuff. You, you're actually kind of nice and helpful. What's this? Oh, nothing. Um, Alright, this was the way there. I never actually walked all the way down this tunnel. Ah, yes. So we now, we now see most, if not all, of this central chasm. Alright. Well then, let's take a look and see how bad things are. And how... Things are going to go wrong the moment we arrive. You enter the low, dusty tunnels under the soldier encampment. Tracks in crude path and a crude pathway lead north. From that direction you can dimly hear the echoes of blasting and shouting. The dig must be that way. There is a closed gate to the south. Listening carefully you can hear more shouting, but it sounds like drunken carousing. The faint odor of sweat and rotting garbage wafts from that direction. Ah, ogres. You can't see anyone through the gate, only crumbling old Vanatai halls. Whoever is down there, they want to be left alone. Okay. I mean, it is ogres, right? Yeah, these are the... These must be the ogre caves. Although I'd be lying if I said that I had any sort of recollection. I mean... I guess I... I kind of do. Uh, not really, though. Anyway, we can't go there, so let's not worry about that. No. We're supposed to follow the path north, I guess that's that's that. But what's going on over here? A digging spot with an emerald? No one found that? Well, good for me. And nothing over here. Another closed gate. No explanation given this time. To main dig. Wear protective helmet and gloves. Watch out for mage fire. Hmm. Okay. Back to the surface. Well, not surface. Main level, I guess. What? No! Crap. How, how did that even happen? I just randomly clicked here to walk and that... That just must have overlapped overlapped with option number one, which was just to make the 
the box text box go away? Hold on. Okay, thankfully there was an autosave just a minute ago. Yeah, I guess I'm... And you have to click pretty precisely on the the line, basically, where the one is as well. That was just extremely unlucky. You're near the end of a long, narrow, claustrophobic tunnel. The ceiling is painfully low and the air is choked with dust. The ground steeps up sharply and the climb is making you sweat. However, unless the tunnel eventually connects with an existing network that leads to the surface, the dig is a futile effort. If it was possible to escape from Avernum with more picks and shovels, people would have done it years ago. I mean, why is it not possible? Like, I mean, realistically speaking, it might be a very long... It might be This might be very far underground, right? But even then, there is nothing actually stopping anyone from digging a tunnel that's just long enough. So, in theory, it really should be possible to do it with just more picks and shovels. You'd think that it was, would actually be worth it. <laughs> but, okay. Anyway. Uh, the air is filled with constant flashes of light, bursts of ozone as mages blast the rock with spells. Uh, what? Constant flashes of light and bursts of ozone as mages blast the rock with spells. Then ogres haul it away. Uh, the rock, yes. <laughs> to, be, uh, to see more of the process, you will have to get closer. Yes, I was going to do that. Not that there are any other options. Oh, this is literally where the tunnel is being dug forward. Oh. I don't know what I expected. I guess not just a dead-end tunnel. Main dig. Alright. Hello. The mages are deep in concentration, summoning up bolts of energy and directing them into the rock to the north. Uh, one of them mutters, Wait, don't disturb us. We can talk soon. As soon as something goes catastrophically wrong. Ah. Summoning up so much power for so long is clearly taking its toll on the mages. Their powers of concentration are impressive, but they must inevitably suffer brief lapses, like now. One of the mages wavers slightly, and a bolt of fire goes awry. Unfortunately, the loose ball of flame flies at one of the ogres. And then what happens? Uh, the ogre, now heavily singed, roars in anger. He prepares to charge at the mages. A second ogre grabs his arm, trying to stop him. The first ogre punches the second ogre, and the crude brawl seems inevitable. Then a third ogre, much larger than the others, wades into the fray. He shouts, No, stop! I am Hydera, and I command it. It's too much for too little. Enemy is not here. Enemy is chief. What? I say we get what is ours. I say we walk out. He raises his club in the air and lets out a large howl. The other ogres, who you note, all bear a wide array of scratches and burns, are encouraged by this, and by the chance to stop doing menial labor, they raise their clubs, roar, and turn back towards the exit. The mages, relieved that the ogres aren't going to attack them, take this opportunity to slip away. One of them whispers, you should get away too, while well, you can. The commander should probably know of this. The commander should probably know of this. I mean, does this just happen often, or is this... Did we just happen to witness the moment where finally everything stopped altogether. Like, how have they been able to to get even this far? Which isn't all that far, honestly. <laughs> if this is all the tunnel, then yeah, it, it is literally going to take forever. Oh. Hello. I visited the excavations. Some ogre named Hydera commanded them all to leave. The commander nods. Yes, that is how it goes. I knew this would happen. I've been waiting for this day. Everything in their tribe... Everything in their tribe has broken down. Violence will result. The important thing now is to make sure that violence aids us. The castle didn't just send you to investigate, yes? You were sent to provide aid if needed. You admit that this is true. <laughs> Well, now I know what needs to be done. Something might still be salvaged from this situation. Such as? Uh, that's not what I wanted to ask. Um, what do I need to do? The ogres are led by Chief Gonza. He made the ogres work. He makes the ogres work. I give him supplies, but he hasn't been sharing the supplies. It is the ogre way. But the other ogres, who are getting burned and bashed, are annoyed. That Hydera fellow you saw, he seems to be wanting to challenge Gunza. He even came to me as if I would get involved. 
Go below and talk to the ogres. See if you can find a way to enter their little power struggle, preferably in a way that leaves me with a usable workforce. Hmm. You want me to deal with the ogres? Why not? I've been doing it. Just talk to them. Find out what it what it would take to get some of them to return to their labors. Will I need to kill some of them? I mean, most likely. I just hope you can keep from killing all of them. Talk to Chief Ganza first. I'm sure he will have some rich suggestions for what to do to get the tribe back under his thumb. Of course, I don't care who you kill. They're just ogres, after all. Just as long as I'm left with a placid tribe I can work with. Right. I'm not sure I like treating the ogres this way. Eh, honestly, I really don't care. I'll take care of them. I mean, we'll see what options there even are. Honestly. Sure, if I can somehow ensure that the ogres are treated somewhat fairly... I mean, they're, no one forces them to work, right? They just agree to it. I mean, I mean, Ganza agreed to it, because he is benefiting from it by getting paid and keeping all the payment for himself. So I guess I can understand if the other ogres are unhappy with the situation, but they have to, you know, deal... They, they, they should somehow figure something out with their... With their chief. Anyway, yeah, if I can somehow improve their situation, I will, but uh, we'll see if that is even going to be possible. And now, suddenly, magically, that is open. That is not. Or is it? I mean, why would it be? No. Maybe that's just where we're gonna emerge after this maybe slams shut behind us, as gates sometimes do. You step into the ogre halls. It looks like this tribe has been living here for a long time. The early layers of garbage have been have had time to ossify, creating a solid platform for garbage to come. The walls, once lovely, are covered with smoke and marks of grime. Ogres look out nervously at you from the barracks ahead. Then they duck back and watch you pass quietly. They are hungry, beaten-down-looking creatures. Their chieftain must have powerful control over them. Hmm. I guess so. Okay. Hello, don't mind me. Honestly, I'm surprised that you're not minding me. The ogres in these chambers are tired and hungry looking. Most of them show signs of injury suffered at the dig. They seem beaten down, but they are still huge and strong. They would be dangerous if aroused to battle. When you try to talk to them, they look nervous. Talk to Chief Gunza. We not challenge the uh, ch challenge Chief. Gunza leads us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cave Borg. Oh, that's him. I think he literally just said, I am Gonzo. Ogre. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. Another closed gate. Well, this is some sort of uh, ogre battle pit. Well, we have to become Gonzo's champion. Champions. And uh, fight against um, the Hy Hydera, Hydera's champions. Yoink. Leather armor, gauntlets, value 15. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Wand of the Inferno, aura of flame, 60 to 210 damage. Excuse me? That seems insanely powerful. We certainly haven't seen that one before, have we? <laughs> we have this ridiculous fiery wand. Do you have one of those? Yeah. Why do you have one of those? Get rid of that crap. I mean, why would I ever use this? This is... Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Dedicated trash pit, I guess. I am master here. Yes, yes. Sure you are. Okay, that's that. So, Hydera and his people, I guess, do not even inhabit the same caves. Which I guess makes sense. Hello, Chief Gunza. Ogres are not thoughtful creatures. They tend to resolve differences through shouting and horrible, clumsy violence. To rule them, one must be big, strong, and unhesitant about using one's size and strength against rivals. This ogre is old and wrinkled, and his hair is starting to go gray. He must be as old as 25 or 30. Wait, what? 
Is that really... Do ogres really not get older than that? Or much older? And yet enough power remains in his enormous bulk to enable, uh, enable him to compel the others to do his bidding. When he sees you, he snarls and says, You here, you wait too long. Huh? You here, you wait too long. I, Chief Gonza, I ask little person commander for help. Steal to keep loud ogres in line. Now I challenged. Now you help me crush Hydera, so work start again. Oh, yes. So basically, as, a, as I suspected, right? <sighs> Tell me about your tribe. It is my tribe. Mine. I claim it. Other, og other ogres do what I say, or I crush them. It's ogre way. Old and wise. We get away from your Avernum. Come out to these tunnels. Find this fort for many years. Then Avernum come. We must deal with them. Uh, you're only ruled by the strong? Yes. All are only ruled... All are only ruled by the strong. You have king. You know different from us. You decide not to debate political philosophy with this creature. Yeah, it's, it's better. For a number of reasons. Why did you come out here? Humans and Neville and such are small and frail, but there are many of them, and they work steel and magic. We always stay away from your kind when we can. You think we are dumb, and maybe we are dumb, but we not want to die. Hmm. You deal with the humans? We always respect the strong. Avernum is strong. We see Avernum wants our cave. Avernum wants... We see Avernum wants our cave. Avernum wants caves. Avernum... Avernum wants caves. Avernum takes caves. Yes. So I offer human leader a good deal. Good for them, good for tribe. Well, mostly good for you. What deal was that? I make my ogres work hard for humans. Humans not kill us. They give us food and, and tools. <laughs> Stupid humans. Their strength could get us to work without paying much food. But I strong and commander weak, so I get more. But traitor Hydera, he spoils deal. And so you kill Hydera for me. And we work again. I mean, that seems straightforward enough. Hmm. Why did the ogres walk off the job? They are foolish. They are not scared of my strength. They let Hydera fill heads with thoughts. Never good. Thoughts never bring good things. They see me get food and not give much to them. Same with treasure. They get jealous. And Hydera is there. Is there with thoughts. I mean, why are you not giving them at least a fair share of the food? You don't share the payment for their work with your tribe? The chief seems confused. I am stronger than them. Why should I share? Yeah, okay, anyway, um, what do you need me to do to get back to work? <laughs> you kill Hydera for me. Your humans cause problems. Hydera too near you. He gets full of weak human ideas. Weak humans? Uh, didn't you just say that Avern was actually strong? And uh, Whatever. Ogre logic. Or lack thereof. Full of weak human ideas. You crush him. Rub him out and tribe sees I can't be denied. Yeah, because you have someone else to the crushing for you. Hmm. Sure, whatever, man. If it works, it works. Hydera hides in storage caves. I get gate open. You go challenge Hydera. Kill him. Then work starts again. Why don't you go kill Hydera? Because I can get you to do it for me. Ogres see I command humans. That gives me real strength. And if I crush Hydera, I live, because, but I lose ogres. You kill, no loss for me. Uh, if I crush Hydera, I live, but I lose ogres? Why? Why am I trying to make sense of what he says? But this doesn't seem to make sense to me. <laughs> I mean... If we need to kill Hydera and his followers, then those ogres are gonna die. The same as if he fought them, but he might be... He might just not be strong enough to do it. I mean, he says that, you know, him getting us to do it demonstrates his strength, and yeah... Sure. Um, you know, that makes sense in a way. But he might also literally not be able to do it. Plus, of course, it's much safer to have someone else attempt it and fail than, you know, attempting it yourself and risking to fail. Anyway, um, maybe I can talk Hydera into returning to work. No, I am challenged. You are challenged. If Hydera wins, no obedience for us all. Ah, so maybe we can actually talk to Hydera and he might actually be a bit more intelligent and have a have better ideas or other ideas about this this deal, about how this deal could go. Hmm. But the main problem seems to be that Chief Ganza is just, you know, keeping all the stuff for himself, making the rest of the ogres 
unhappy and likely to, you know, follow someone else and maybe promises them more, you know, fair treatment. So maybe we should give someone else, let someone else rule and treat them more fairly. And then we'll have happier ogres. And if we then can maybe make the, convince the mages to be a bit more careful with their spell aiming, maybe get the whole process of, of the, the whole digging process a bit more organized where, you know, the area where the next fire blast is going to happen has to be cleared before, you know, before it happens. Anyway, well, we'll see. <sighs> Don't listen to foolish ideas in here. Just strike him down, right? We'll see about that. Is there another question? No. He said he's going to unlock doors for me. Presumably, yep. This one specifically. Okay, 40 minutes on the timer. Is Hydera just gonna be waiting for me here? No. Surprisingly, that's not the case. Gur? 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 Okay. Hello, Hydera? Ah, oh, okay. Rebel Ogres. Not hostile for now. There's Hydera right there. Let's, uh, okay, hold on. Almost a thousand health, okay. That's not necessarily a problem, though. Javelins. Wait. Do we have javelins? Yes, of course, those are just normal javelins. They looked so different to me for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe these ogres are having an effect on me. I should try to get out of this place as soon as I can. Um, healing potion. Sure, you can have another one. Save, and let's see how how reasonable is this ogre going to be. There's a huge young ogre sitting in this chair, oozing, uh, oozing, using it as a throne. It's a huge, luxurious, overstuffed chair of human size. You wonder why, some, why anyone bothered to drag it out here. The ogre looks ridiculous in it. It's easy to recognize this fellow. It's He's Hydera, the one who led his fellows away from the dig side. He looks up at you grimly and rests his hand on his club. He knows why you are here. He laughs. So humans steal our lair, Gunza steals our treasure, and you come to fix it for you all. This is the way. So you hear. You're here with bad, proud Hydera and his ogres. Now what? <sighs> why didn't you want the ogres to work for us? Ogres proud. Ogres warriors and not workers. But ogres not dumb. Eh, arguable, but okay. Not want to die. Respect strength. We work for humans because you pay, and because one day you go away. But we are robbed by coward old chief Gunza. For this, we not back down. You fear our strength? Not fear. Respect. Uh, sure, okay. We watch, we learn, so one day ogres not hide from weak little humans. One day we rise up and crush you and take what is ours. But not yet. Now is time for learning. Hmm. Uh, what about the herd ogres? He holds up an arm. It bears an ugly burn from a misplaced fireball. He slaps the fresh burn with his other hand, hard, and doesn't flinch. Hurt? That all we care for hurt. Hurt make us strong. But to be hurt and then stolen from, that is too much. Hmm. How does the chief steal from you? We all work. We all get breaks and burns. Then food and goods come, and Gunza, fat Gunza, who only sits, takes most and takes the most and best and leaves rest for us. Isn't that his right as your chief? It was. I challenge him. When you're gone, I make sure guns are no chief, not chief for long. With only his pitiful band to help him, that doesn't seem likely. Without help. Hmm. Yeah, the only thing I, I wonder is, I mean, clearly I'm, I'm going to side with Hydera here. Because not only is it the more interesting option, but also, you know, he has a point. And I did say that I was going to try and help the overs if I can. And, uh, you know, while potentially Hydera is basically openly threatening us, right? Threatening to become uh, a threat to humans in the future. But, I mean, that's a that's a problem for future humans to deal with. And, you know, we're here now. So I'm okay with that. Um, um, what was I going to say? I don't know. Oh, yeah, right. The one thing I wonder is that uh, is whether I'm, I'm going to have to actually fight... 
uh, or you know kill most of Ganza's loyal followers, or if there's going to be a way to to spare them. But we'll see about that, I guess. These other ogres have joined you. Yes, only a few. Few very brave, not fear death. But most are cowards. Most stay with Ganza. Hmm. Chief Ganza sent me here to kill you. Yes, your kind and weak old ogres work together. I understand. I am ready to fight and die. Is what a challenge means. So few come to join me. Makes hard to get rid of Ganza. But I will not fail. I right and strong. He rises from his chair and grabs his club. Come on. I ready. And there's no other way to peace? I mean, obviously there is. He lowers his club slightly and actually tries to think about it. Hmm, well... Hmm... Well... Not while Chief Ganza lives. But I'm not ready to go to him and say he no longer fit to lead and kill him in dueling pit. That done and I take control. Then I, Chief, and Ogres come back to work. But who challenged Chief? We not ready. You little ones support him. I see nothing to do. Let me think about this more. There might be another way. Wait, I mean... Huh? We're not supporting him, though. I was... I'm just waiting for the option to decide with you here. What? Think? When battle is here? You little creature so odd. He plops back into into chair. <laughs> he, he plopped back into chair. Can't see how you do that. My head hurts. Go away. What? Did I miss the option? Uh... Other always have joined you. Seals from you. That's right. Another. Sent me to kill you. What? Actually, I need to think about this a bit more. But that's not. No other way to peace. And the only option is yeah, I guess you're right. Die and I attack him. Or I say, let me think about this more. I guess now we just return to Gunza and just challenge him instead. I thought we should have we should talk about that, you know, coordinate that with Hydera. But I guess he's okay with it. Obviously, he said that he was he was going to do it if he was ready. He just doesn't do it because Gunza is still allied with the humans. But I mean, okay, yeah, okay. So that's just all it is. You know, a dialogue option with, with Hydera would have been nice, but, you know, it's fine. <clears throat> I say, you are no longer fit to lead the ogres. The chief opens his mouth, then he closes it again. It takes him some time to parse what has happened. You, you talk to Hydera. His stupid human ideas, they land in the ear of little weak creatures. Yeah, I mean, we've had human, stupid human ideas in there before, you know. Fill you with thoughts. No more talk. You challenge me. Only... One way to answer. With strength, come to Dueling Pit now. The chieftain stands, and you get a good look at how huge he is. He grabs a club and heads toward the Dueling Pit. I mean, sure, but he's also old, and he's, there's only one of him. And thankfully, he's uh, honorable enough to actually go to the Dueling Pit and fight there, rather than, you know, start fighting us right there, surrounded by his followers. So presumably, we're just going to be... It's gonna be a four on one, just the way I like it. Chief Gunza is waiting for you in the dueling pit. I, actually, we were waiting first, but okay. He doesn't seem worried. He is more irrita irritated than anything else. You did not have to do this. You did not have to challenge me. Now I have to kill you. Have to save face. Show I'm strong and unafraid. After I will give bodies to commander to get play to get peace between me and army. You should put weapon down. Then end is quick and painless. Otherwise, I make you go slow. You decline his generous offer. Okay, and honestly, surprised there isn't an option here. Um, to to grovel and and beg for our lives. Then challenge is accepted. You die. All right. Talking. He doesn't respond. The duel is on. Nice. Okay, first thing, I guess we try to weaken him. Because he might absolutely hit kind of hard. Then we break his armor. And you can shoot a well-aimed arrow. 
and shoot a less well-aimed arrow. Okay, he does whatever that was. Spins around, cleaving the air with a mighty blow. Ah, okay. That makes sense. That makes more sense than him creating some sort of shockwave out of, you know, nothing. Uh, we are going to cast acid on you. All right. Yep. And the damage over time. Tick actually dealt more damage than the main hit of the, of the acid. Very nice. Okay, decent. Also decent. We will heal you with a strong heal. Yeah, let's not take any chances here and heal them both. Chief Gunza is starting to look weak, yeah. I mean, we brought him down to, um, well, between a third and a quarter of his health in one round. That's, uh, that's kind of rough. Uh, your last blow knocked him back a step. A brief look of concern crosses his massive face. If I must die, I not die alone. I die with my pets, my beautiful pets. Pack, come, I call you. Okay. Chief Gunza pulls out a flask as well. Okay, I guess those two things were not necessarily supposed to happen in the same turn. He also, yeah, okay, he healed himself back to about half. Right. We, of course, saw the, the warg pens up here. Um, you know, it's kind of annoying potentially having to deal with adds, but uh, looks like we might actually be able to kill him before the hounds even arrive. Uh, we're still probably going to have to deal with them, but that's fine. I'm just happy that we don't have to fight the other ogres, you know. It's nice that we actually get to spare them. Uh, Gunza pulls out a flask that and takes a swig from it. It immediately invigorates him. See, I have little battle tricks too. Now I beat you fiercely. Roar! You, as opposed to just beating us some other way before? Okay. I'm guessing you're still... You didn't cure the acid, although maybe you did. So, rather than risk it, we're just going to do this again. And we even can... You know what? I was going to maybe cast slow, but I honestly, I doubt that the fight is going to take long enough for that to matter. So... Yeah, that lightning was pretty nice. And uh, we're still fatigued. Ooh, oh, spine shield, huh? My favorite. Ouch. Okay, this could actually be kind of painful. Did not get the double heal. Oh, nice. He took a bit of a taste of his own medicine there, getting parried. Only 10 damage, but you know... On the other hand, we also didn't take damage. Okay, let's actually kill this guy as quickly as we possibly can, even if it's very mana inefficient. Oh, oh, nice. I didn't expect the acid to be enough to finish him off there, but it was. Even a creature as huge and powerful as Chief Gunza can't survive such an onslaught indefinitely, or for more than three turns. He collapses to the ground, bleeding from his many wounds. Ah, oh, stupid little creature. I could have controlled. Work could have resumed. Just needed time. More time. And then the chief of the ogre tribe dies. Well, thankfully the next one, hopefully a better one, is already, uh, you know, ready to take over. Invulnerable potion. Don't mind if I do. Ice Hydra Helm. Fancy. Stun resistant, cold resistant. Uh, Okay. Five armor. Hmm. Stun and cold resistance as opposed to poison and acid resistance. You have this, which has decent armor. Parry and Blade Master. Okay. You have this <laughs> pathetic Redskin helmet. So someone's getting an upgrade here, that's for sure. Spellcraft and, spellcraft and magical efficiency. Yeah, okay. Uh, stun resistance. I mean, honestly... Hmm, I mean, poison and acid resistance is nice to have. She has some stun resistance from this robe. And that's about it. So I don't know if stacking more stun resistance is better. But maybe it is. 
Oops. Yeah, anyway, you're getting that one. Uh, that can be sold. Oh, indeed, yeah. It's actually kind of valuable for what it is. Okay. Um, are the works still coming? Yes. Yes, they are. Very loyal. Even after their master's death. Let's uh, quickly take advantage of uh, the fact that we're still buffed. Oh. I mean, were these going to join eventually? Oh, there are a lot of them. Let's wait. Yes, yes, gather around, gather around. That's what I like to see. You can do a well aimed blow against this one. Wow, that was really good damage. Impressive. Nice. How? Okay, yep. Understandable. I should have healed, but... Well, I still could have healed, but at this point, obviously. Not necessary. Okay. Heal you up, because we can. Oh, there's actually meat here. Mmm. Yummy work food. Oops. Nothing wrong with that, I'm sure. Alright, well, that was... Yeah, quite doable. And it looks like we actually managed to solve this entire quest by with just a single combat. Although I guess we would have just had a single combat against Hydera if we had decided otherwise, right? So either way, it would have been a pretty simple affair. But uh, yeah, actually, I'm going to. I mean, it feels feels kind of kind of bad to just end it here. But you know, looking at the timer and all that, I know I repeat myself every single episode. We're just going to continue this next time. Um, I. I guess we're supposed to tell... Yeah, we, we probably have to tell Hydera the good news first and allow him to, you know, assume the role of chief uh, officially before we re report back to the commander. So, yeah, we're going to do that next time. As always, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.